Thanks, Atria. Saturday is going to be an exciting day of learning and sharing. In the morning, bright and early at 8 a.m., there'll be a number of symposia that will satisfy everyone's different interests. For me personally, I'll have a tough time deciding between the SELECT and the INHALE 3 symposia. In the SELECT symposium, new data looking at glycemia, inflammation, and heart failure will be presented. At the same time, the results from the INHALE 3 randomized trial of inhaled insulin versus automated insulin delivery or MDI in type 1 diabetes will be presented. This is when a clone would be super helpful. The special lectures and addresses are always inspirational, which will start at 9.45 a.m. We will hear from Patty Urbanski on diabetes education for one and for all, as well as from Dr. Joshua Newmiller, the deserving recipient of the Outstanding Educator in Diabetes Award at 10.45 a.m. At 1.30 p.m., I look forward to a debate entitled Innovation or Access in Diabetes Technology, What Should Be Our Global Priority? At 3.15 p.m., there's an exciting panel on the very hot topic of GLP-1 plus or minus GIP receptor agonists in the perioperative setting, to stop or not to stop? That is the question. Then at 4.30 p.m., back by popular demand, is the Innovation Challenge, where candidates will have an opportunity to pitch their novel, innovative idea to potential funders, and we, the audience, will get to vote for the best idea. Fantastic audience participation. And as always, throughout the day, there will be exciting oral abstract and e-poster presentations. Lots to look forward to on Saturday. <laughs>